In this video, you will learn about all the different aspects and features of your Instant Pot. The following information applies to both the Lux 50 and the Lux 60 models. And by the way, the only difference between the Lux 50 and the Lux 60 is the capacity. The Lux 50 can hold up to 5 liters or 5.28 quarts, and the Lux 60 up to 6 liters or 6.33 quarts. Otherwise, everything else is exactly the same. The first thing you need to know about your Instant Pot is that you don't need to be afraid of it, as many people are afraid of stovetop pressure cookers. With 10 safety features built in, you can use your Instant Pot with confidence knowing that it is not going to explode. In addition, keep in mind that your Instant Pot operates at relatively low pressure of 11 to 12 PSI. Now even though we're going to go into a lots of detail in this video, once you know the basics, your Instant Pot is actually very easy to operate and maintain. First, we're going to talk about the lid. Let's identify all the different parts that you need to know. The lid consists of several important parts that you need to know about to keep your Instant Pot working smoothly. First, on the inside of the lid, there's the sealing ring. The sealing ring is what expands when being heated against the inner pot to seal the pot and build up pressure. You must make sure that the sealing ring is clean and well seated inside the sealing ring rack before you use it. The sealing ring is made of a silicon rubber which can last two to three years under normal conditions. If you ever see any cracks or deformations in your sealing ring, you will need to replace it. You can purchase new sealing rings anytime at instantpot.com. Also, depending on how much you use it, eventually the sealing ring can become stretched. If you notice that the sealing ring is not sitting tightly inside the sealing ring rack, you will have to replace it as it may cause your pot to malfunction and stop sealing, leaving it unable to build pressure. To find out more information about your sealing ring and how to clean or replace the sealing ring, please watch the sealing ring video. The next most important feature of the Instant Pot Lid is the float valve. This is the valve that pops up at the desired temperature and creates a final seal for cooking. There's really not that much to it. It's simply a small pin with a small silicon rubber seal on the end. The way it works is that once the required temperature and pressure builds up inside the pot, it causes this small valve to pop up and seal the pot. In addition, once it is popped up, it keeps the locking mechanism of the lid activated to lock the lid to prevent accidental opening. If you ever lose any part of the float valve or see cracks in the small silicone ring, you can buy another one on instantpot.com. For more information on how to remove and clean the float valve, please see the video called Float Valve. The next thing you need to know about is the pressure release exhaust and handle. On the inside of the lid, your exhaust valve is secured by a washer, a nut, and what is called an anti-block shield, which is a final nut that is designed to keep food from seeping into the exhaust valve during venting operation. Please note, you should never have to remove the steam release exhaust pipe. From time to time, you may want to wash the anti-block shield to remove any food residue and make sure that the exhaust pipe is free of debris. Be very careful, however, because it is a small part that can easily go down the drain. To reinstall the anti-block shield, simply screw it back on and hand tighten. Now, on the outside of the lid, you will find the pressure release handle. This is a very loose fitting handle that lets you control whether your pot is sealed or not sealed. From time to time, you will need to remove this steam release handle by simply pulling it out 
to make sure that there's no food or debris inside the steam release handle. For almost all cooking settings, you will want this steam release handle to be in the ceiling position. However, for slow cook, you will want to turn it to either venting positions, as you do not want to slow cook with pressure. For more information about the steam release handle, please check out our video called Steam Release Handle. Finally, to close the lid, you need to align the arrows on the lid and the base and turn clockwise to close it. You hear a beep when the lid is fully closed. Please note there's a magnetic sensor to ensure the lid being fully closed before pressure cooking. If your lid is not fully closed, pressure cooking won't start and a flash lid will be shown on the control panel. And that is all you need to know about the lid. You're a pro now. Now in addition to the lid, there are basically only two other parts to your Instant Pot. The cooker base and the inner pot. The three-ply bottom stainless steel inner pot is made from the finest quality 18.8 stainless steel. This steel is 304 food grade compliant to FDA standards. Your inner pot is designed to last for years and years. Depending on what you're cooking, you may encounter rainbowing effects in your inner pot that is perfectly normal and safe. However, if you ever desire to remove that effect, please see our FAQ section for directions. Your inner pot is also dishwasher safe. The last part of your inner pot is the cooker base. This base requires no maintenance and should never ever be immersed in water. Simply clean with a warm wet towel and wipe dry with a soft dry towel to keep your cooker base looking like brand new. It's advisable to unplug your cooker when you're not using it. However, when the control panel shows off, the unit consumes almost no electricity. That's about all the information we have for you for this overview of your Instant Pot. If you have any unanswered questions, simply browse through our video section or check out our FAQ section for more detailed explanations. Thank you for watching and happy pressure cooking.